Twenty British English Expressions, Volume One. A bit fishy. Something that is suspicious or doesn't seem right is a bit fishy. This bloke looks a bit fishy, don't you think? An email promising to help you get millions of pounds is always a bit fishy. This bloke looks a bit fishy, don't you think? An email promising to help you get millions of pounds is always a bit fishy. A bit of how's your father? A bit of how's your father is a euphemism for sexual activity between two consenting adults. Looks like he's hoping for a bit of how's your father if the weather holds and the dog don't mind. He came home to find his wife having a bit of how's your father with the milkman. Looks like he's hoping for a bit of how's your father if the weather holds and the dog don't mind. He came home to find his wife having a bit of how's your father with the milkman. Bloke. A bloke is a synonym for a man. You can't use it to refer to a woman. I'm down the gym and this bloke starts showing off doing chin-ups. In the olden days, blokes would settle an argument with a duel. I'm down the gym and this bloke starts showing off doing chin-ups. In the olden days, blokes would settle an argument with a duel. Brolly. Brolly is a very British informal name for an umbrella. The British say that it will never rain if you take your brolly with you, but will always rain if you don't. Everyone I know has forgotten at least one brolly on a train or a bus. The British say that it will never rain if you take your brolly with you, but will always rain if you don't. Everyone I know has forgotten at least one brolly on a train or a bus. Chuffed to bits. To be chuffed is to be pleased with something. To be chuffed to bits is to be very pleased. He was chuffed to bits when she accepted his proposal. They were chuffed to bits with their new bikes. He was chuffed to bits when she accepted his proposal. They were chuffed to bits with their new bikes. The dreaded lurgy. The dreaded lurgy is an illness that's not too serious, but which is very easy to catch. I wouldn't mind coming down with the dreaded lurgy if those nurses at the hospital were looking after me. It's almost worth catching the dreaded lurgy to be looked after by those fit nurses. I wouldn't mind coming down with the dreaded lurgy if those nurses at the hospital were looking after me. It's almost worth catching the dreaded lurgy to be looked after by those fit nurses. 
gobsmacked, gobsmacked, to be rendered completely speechless by the amazingness of some happening. I can't get over the fireworks he set off on my birthday. I was absolutely gobsmacked. I was gobsmacked when she told me I'd got the job and could start on Monday. I can't get over the fireworks he set off on my birthday. I was absolutely gobsmacked. I was gobsmacked when she told me I'd got the job and could start on Monday. Grubs up. Grubs up is what you'll hear in Britain when food is ready to be eaten. Okay, everybody, grubs up. Get stuck in. Grubs up is not something you're going to hear the waiter shout in a posh restaurant. Okay, everybody, grubs up. Get stuck in. Grubs up is not something you're going to hear the waiter shout in a posh restaurant. Keep an eye on. When you're keeping an eye on something, you're monitoring closely to make sure nothing bad happens. Can you keep an eye on the cat while we're away? Bakers have to keep an eye on the bread to make sure it doesn't burn. Can you keep an eye on the cat while we're away? Bakers have to keep an eye on the bread to make sure it doesn't burn. Kerfuffle. A kerfuffle is a period of fussing, commotion, or disorder. We were in a bit of a kerfuffle trying to get everything into the house before it got dark. The protesters caused quite a kerfuffle. We were in a bit of a kerfuffle trying to get everything into the house before it got dark. The protesters caused quite a kerfuffle. Knackered. To be knackered is to be thoroughly exhausted, especially at the end of the working day. Nine hours on site and I'm completely knackered. That's my best time ever, but I'm absolutely knackered. Nine hours on site and I'm completely knackered. That's my best time ever, but I'm absolutely knackered. Know your onions. To know your onions means to have a deep and complete understanding or mastery of something. When it comes to decorating ceramics, he certainly knows his onions. I won't have a mechanic messing with my car unless he knows his onions. When it comes to decorating ceramics, he certainly knows his onions. I won't have a mechanic messing with my car unless he knows his onions. More tea, Vicar.
Morty Vicar is an expression used to dissipate the embarrassment of someone who's just farted loudly in company. Help yourself to marmalade and just call if you want more toast. Ooh, more tea, Vicar. Is the next 40 years then, love? <coughs> Ooh, more tea, Vicar. Help yourself to marmalade and just call if you want more toast. <coughs> Ooh, more tea, Vicar. Is the next 40 years then, love? <coughs> oh, more tea, Vicar. Not my cup of tea. If something is not your cup of tea, it's not what you like or are interested in. I can't stand nightclubs. Crowds of people and all that noise is really not my cup of tea. She said she preferred classical art and that modern, so-called art, wasn't her cup of tea. I can't stand nightclubs. Crowds of people and all that noise is really not my cup of tea. She said she preferred classical art and that modern, so-called art, wasn't her cup of tea. Shambles when something's in a state of complete disorder or chaos, it's a shambles. Greedy bankers had created a shambles of the world's economy by 2008. Whenever she cooks, she leaves the kitchen in a complete shambles. Greedy bankers had created a shambles of the world's economy by 2008. Whenever she cooks, she leaves the kitchen in a complete shambles. Skivvy Skivvy can be a noun meaning a domestic servant who does menial work. It can also be a verb and means to do menial work in the home. Skivvy me? Not on your life. I wouldn't know one end of a duster from the other. I'm not much more than a skivvy, really, but at least it's a job. Skivvy? Me? Not on your life. I wouldn't know one end of a duster from the other. I'm not much more than a skivvy, really, but at least it's a job. Sod off. Sod off is a rather rude way of telling somebody to go away because you really don't want them around you. They're smiling, but they really want to tell this salesman to sod off and leave them in peace. Why don't you just sod off and leave me alone? You know I don't fancy you. They're smiling, but they really want to tell this salesman to sod off and leave them in peace. Why don't you just sod off and leave me alone? You know I don't fancy you. Sod's Law Sod's Law says that whatever can go wrong will go wrong, with the worst possible result. Of course I missed from ten feet away. It's Sod's Law. Any IT professional will tell you that Sod's Law is the order of the day with servers. Of course I missed from ten feet away. It's Sod's Law. Any IT professional will tell you that Sod's Law is the order of the day with servers. Takes the biscuit. Takes the biscuit means a particularly bad example of badness.
He refused to buy a train ticket and made her walk home in the rain. Now that takes the biscuit. He used my garden gnome for target practice. That really takes the biscuit. He refused to buy a train ticket and made her walk home in the rain. Now that takes the biscuit. He used my garden gnome for target practice. That really takes the biscuit. The bee's knees. The bee's knees is something incredibly wonderful and superlatively excellent. The best thing ever. I say this new singer is the bee's knees and no mistake. Oh yes, this new wine really is the bee's knees. I say this new singer is the bee's knees and no mistake. Oh yes, this new wine really is the bee's knees. Before you go, please take a moment to share this video, click the like button, leave a comment and visit my GoFundMe page. I'll be back with a new British English expression soon. Goodbye for now.